Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. Check this out. Let me show you some videos from this morning. So you can see, guys, that he was able, him and my brother-in-law were able to pull yesterday. They were expecting five to 10 mile an hour winds, but that did not happen, thank goodness. And uh, the pump's been running all night to inflate the two layers on the roof. We do go with the inflated roof because it does withstand our high winds out here and hail storms. Uh, we got hit with some two inch hail, you may recall last spring and that other one did just fine. It bounced right off of it. Now, of course, if it was a sustained hail storm, we might have some issues, but uh, yes. This thing is gigantic. So this is a 40 foot by 100 foot high tunnel. 4,000 square feet of growing, just incredibly large. So we're supposed to get rain today. They may be able to uh, install the rods or the poles on the side for the roll up, but uh, we are expecting mild weather after today. So hopefully we can get two loads of dirt in this week and we will be able to start planting. Is that just not incredible guys? Look at this. So we have lots of extra braces to ensure that this one can withstand the high winds that we get during our spring storms. And now even summer, actually, our storms seem to be uh, progressing in strength. But uh, when the sun was out yesterday and they finished this, it was already warming up in here significantly. So here's an update on what's going on in this high tunnel. You can see everything has grown exponentially in here and doing quite well. Now we did get down to about uh, 33 degrees yesterday, but in here it was 40 degrees. So uh, everything is coming along nicely. Even my tomato plants are still looking really good. These sweet potato vines, <laughs> just astounding. They're, they're flowering out, guys. We put them in here to try to keep uh, them going so that we would have some slips in the spring. But look at this. My Tower of Power is going pretty good. Look at that calendula. Is that not gorgeous? These onions will be going in the ground next week. And looky there, we have vine ripe tomatoes at the end of November. Beautiful. Here is my broccoli. Woo, I'm gonna have to get out here and cut it today. Look at there. And then I'm gonna freeze dry, guys, some of these greens along with some more kale and, and continue to make my super green powder. Spinach is looking a little better. Got some good lettuces coming in over there. This is the Bloomsdale Long Standing. So there's the update I wanted to give you guys. Um, it's drizzling right now. We have a chance of about a half an inch of rain today, which we do need. But anyway, uh, more videos coming up. I'm getting ready to start my Christmas cooking series. So be sure and hit that uh, subscribe button. Got a lot more things going on, guys. Take care, God bless, and I'll be in touch this weekend.